up next, it is a heavyweight title fight between Stipe Miocic and Daniel Cormier. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of this cage tonight as the new champion. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan. He's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Cormier is three years his senior. Miocic is five inches taller. He will have an eight inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas! It's time! Our round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner! This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record on. 22 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 248 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, presenting the challenger, Daniel D.C. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is going to go down right now. All right, we are underway here at the home of the UFC, the T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas. Just misses with the straight right. Opens with the inside leg kick. Nice. Excellent head movement. Guard. 
Showing good defense here, controlling that arm, keeping him from hitting him. Oh, he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Miacic. Put the guard beautifully there. Right back up to his feet. He just missed with the left there. as he looks to improve position here. Back to the feet now. Very nicely done. And they separate. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Well played there to avoid the clinch. Cormier's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Miacic has got the double underhooks here on the clinch now, Joe. Let's see what he can do with it. Lands a knee to the body here in the clinch. Sprawls here and thereby able to avoid the takedown attempt. And from here, oh, oh, big nice knee. Knee. Oh. Miocic appears wobbly. The champ is in deep danger here. He's really hurt, and he is going to lose his title if he can't recover. In full guard. Cormier gets back up again. Nicely done. And now starting to snap off that jab. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. We're under a minute to go in round one. Nice inside leg kick. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Kick to the body by DC. Battling for hooks. Again, Daniel Cormier lands a very nice takedown. Oh, absolutely, Joe. His takedowns have been on point tonight. He got tagged there. Oh, elbow up top by Cormier. In full guard. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Here's a big leg kick. And here we see a perfectly executed suplex. And here we see a devastating suplex. Brittany Palmer with us. Get up now. 
Straight right hand, no good. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. Oh, elbow! Big elbow! Oh! Oh, you heard him. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid... Oh! That's some wrestling right there! Oh, nice work with the knee there by DC. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Excellent movement here on the ground. Miocic got caught by that elbow, or so it appeared. Yes, he did. Nice punch by Cormier. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Effective strike there by the heavyweight Miocic. He's in half guard here. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Beautiful knockout for the KO victory as the round was ending. Wow, Joe, just incredible. Just when I thought I was going to start asking you about what adjustments they could make for the next round, we get the end of the fight. A huge shot to drop his opponent. The referee wisely jumps in to stop the action there. Near perfect execution on that fight ending sequence. Let's see that again. Boom! So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Bruce Buffer has Ladies the official decision. Referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at four minutes, 47 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. So some UFC history tonight as we crown a new UFC champion. Congratulations to fighter and team. And man, are they going to enjoy this one. A lot of people not giving them a chance coming in here tonight. And this is a moment that at times people just thought we wouldn't see. New champion here tonight. The longtime incumbent is out. There is a new sheriff in town in this division. And it is going to take a big...